research into it, the pharmaceutical companies are very aware of its healing benefits because in America, for example, the biggest portaloo company, all the urine that goes in their portaloos, they actually collect it and keep it all and sell it to the pharmaceutical companies. Then the pharmaceutical companies extract and isolate certain substances that are within the urine and then they put into certain pharmaceuticals and then it's also put into certain beauty products. If you have been following the drama over the past few years, people have made some pretty wacky claims. People have also done some outrageous and even downright dangerous things for the sake of healing. Numbnuts over here checks all the boxes. Now that I think about it, everyone originally got these ideas from him. Hey there people, it's Sunfruit Danny. So I wanted to make a video where I'm basically going to share with you all the different actions turpentine has within the body and the health issues that it can relate. And turpentine is one of the best remedies out there for eliminating candida and parasites within the body. So yeah, it's really brilliant for things like that and other health issues that I'm about to mention. So it's also brilliant for bronchial secretions. It slows down or stops bleeding. It's also a diuretic, so it increases your urination. It's an anti-thumatic. It's an antidote to phosphorus poisoning. It's also brilliant to be used as a urinary antiseptic. It dissolves gallstones as well and uric acid crystals. Antispasmotic property, tuberculosis and pneumonia. You heard that right folks. If you have tuberculosis or pneumonia, no reason to go to a doctor. Just, you know, drink some turpentine. It will clear right up. Hey, it's Danny here. So I want to share with you four free, very natural ways that can cure any different health issues. So the first one is the Wim Hof breathing method. The second one is either daily intermittent fasting or extended water fasting. He is all over the place. Why well, I'm no longer having one meal a day. Now I'm having two meals a day. Now I'm back to one meal a day. He is all over the damn place. Last but not least, which is the most controversial one, and that's why I've left it until last, is urine therapy, which some people call uropathy. I am noticing a pattern here. It seems that so many ex-vegans who have done all these crazy things have destroyed their health because they copied Sunfruit Dan's advice. That's that's me. It looks like um kind of like champagne-ish color. Hey, you know, white wine. White wine. Liquid gold. Okay. I don't think it's only on London People Mail. will drink Coca-Cola. They'll drink tap water without ever knowing what's in it. There's nothing in that that's not ran around your body already that you've already consumed. Right. Amazing. I mean, I had some earlier and Timothy said, get the fresh stuff. It's like room temperature. It's completely body temperature, isn't it? Oh, God. Like, I've been into urine therapy for many, many years, and I've been using urine enemas for many years as well, almost every single day, and these things just make me feel absolutely amazing. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. How many orifices does this guy want to fill up with pee like seriously does he just take the little leftovers and like swivel it into his belly button mark my words this guy is going to piddle into a syringe and then inject himself the same way that even though he's gone back to me for practically a year now and it's supposedly so healing he still promotes b12 injections now that you are all up to date on his past, let's take a look at his current recent health claim. So, something that I wasn't aware was an issue that I only had on a vegan diet until some time ago when I got off the vegan diet was that when I was on the vegan diet, and I don't know how long this happened after being on that diet, but it was something that was going on for me for years and years and years on a vegan diet. And that is that I ended up with a cat allergy. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying this in the slightest bit. I won't waste my time or energy debunking his past claims. However, for all this lockdown mess, I have volunteered at my local animal shelter and I've learned a thing or two. Meat does not cure your allergy. Allergies to cats and dogs have nothing to do with your diet. The reason why Dan can probably tolerate, at least temporarily, 
moments with cats is because he has avoided them for so long. The sad news is that all cats carry allergens. The good news, however, is that certain breeds of dogs, such as poodles, are a popular breed amongst those who have allergies. So if Dan wants to settle down and have an animal companion, then get a poodle. And of course, please adopt, don't shop. I think we've had enough of this craziness for one video, but then again, you all seem to really enjoy this type of content. I've noticed a few subscribers recently, so welcome to my crazy channel. But until next time, I hope you're all well, staying safe, not drinking turpentine or your own urine or shoving it up your butt, and I'll see you later in the next video. Bye!